And now, suspense. Your host is Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. Autolite makes over 400 products for cars, trucks, tractors, airplanes, and boats in 28 plants from coast to coast. Autolite products include a complete line of ignition engineered standard and resistor type spark plugs, spark plug wire, distributor caps, generators, voltage regulators, and dependable stay full battery. Autolite products also include speedometers, electric windshield wipers, wire and cable, fuel pumps, bullseye seal beam headlights, and horns. A complete line of original factory parts for Autolite equipped cars. Autolite serves the greatest names in the industry. So from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite and its 98 thousand dealers everywhere present Suspense. the beach of Falasar when it was neither night nor morning. The day star sparkled like a diamond, and the land breeze blew in our faces and smelt strong of wild lime. Pleasure to find you here. I've been four years in Polynesia without a white neighbor. Did you come up and have a drink? Fine. Well, you have two white neighbors here. That is, uh, if you stay. Oh, I'll stay all right. Mm -hmm. I'm here for good. Oh, you think so? Mm -hmm. Why not? <laughs> uh, tea or gin? Tea, please. Uh, tea, Lua. <laughs> Uh, Captain Randall. Hello. Oh. Pup was pretty full this morning. We had an epidemic here. Pup has to take gin as a medicinal measure. Go back to work. Go back to work. 
Odd thing, you know. Your firm has never been able to keep a trader here. <clears throat> your last man, Biggers, stayed a month and sickened and died. Before him, there was uh, Whistling Jimmy. He got drunk and drowned. <laughs> oh, this is my wife, Mr. Wiltshire. I hope things work out better for you, Wiltshire. Because otherwise, I'm the only trader in the island. And that's bad. We all need a little company and a little competition. Welcome. The natives seem friendly enough. Uh, very friendly. If you don't make the wrong step. Hey, something's gone wrong. Who's the tin, Huna? Somebody killed him. Who's the tin, Huna? Huna Tabu? Tabu! Tabu! fellow was taboo. That means he was cut off from everybody. Mm. Life isn't easy here. Break your taboo, knife in your back. Speaking of the easy life, uh, if you're going to be here for good, we must uh, get you a wife. Oh, well, <laughs> I think I'll wait a little while on that. Taboo and Hubana? There's a pretty one around here called Anna. Anna? They can't mean for the poor fellow to marry Anna. Why? What's wrong with her? Not a thing. <laughs> Loveliest girl on the island. Only the captain's a fool. <laughs> He's superstitious about a girl that's too beautiful. <laughs> Anna? Ah, uh, here she is. I first saw her climbing out of the sea. She was young and very slender with a shy, strange look. If you want her, I'll talk to her mother. We'll sober up Captain Randall and he can splice you tonight. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, not so fast. Hmm. She uh, speaks good English. She went to a missionary school. No, thank you, I like being alone. Hmm. Like being alone, not here. <laughs> Believe me, in a month you'll be so lonely you'll come begging for a wife. You think it'd be possible for me to see my house now? Hmm, yes, indeed, Anna can show you. Best house here. Your firm built it. Anna. Kana Tobin Kedana. Please. What do you say, Case? We let him go. Not a chance. Can't keep it up forever, you know. Yeah. Drink it, Jim. Two's enough, man. The authorities are already suspicious. Of the natives, not of us. In case I'm telling you, if a third one dies, you'll spoil everything. Not so loud. Third one dies. I don't have to be repetitious. I can use Anna. It's bad to be repetitious. Might not get away with it. By the end of the first month, I felt as if I'd always lived at Palisar. Every morning by the river, villagers came and piled their copra. And then they came into the veranda and traded with me. Their copra for my calicos and prints and goods of odd sorts. The natives were like children and charming. And I was making money hand over fist. But I was lonely. At the end of two months, I was desperately lonely. Every evening I went to the shore and watched Anna fishing in the sea. And at the end of three months, I married her. the 
bride says I do. I do. And the groom, I do. I do. Splice. Smile, no kiss. Didn't you hear him? You're spliced. Don't tell me something's gone wrong already. No, I'm pretty sure though she feels the same way I do. Uh, the captain drunk and, and all these thieves, they're nothing. They keep the devils away. Means your marriage will be blessed. I could see her on the edge of the wharf. Serious and still. And it came over me that she was a kind of princess, really. And no even made for a poor trader like myself. But here it was. And here we were. Man and wife. They keep clear of me. Only a day after we marry, and not a soul comes to trade. Come, your food will be cold. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's a holiday. Maybe that's why they don't come to trade. And knock at the fools. Oh, good morning, Case. Wiltshire. It's a queer thing. You're tabooed. I'm what? Taboo. The chiefs are down on you, and no one will come to trade. How did it all start? Believe me, I pleaded with them for you. The only concession I could get was that even though you are tabooed, they let you leave the island. But I don't want to leave the island. I like the island. And I have my home and my wife. Well, old man, I warned you. If I were you, I'd clear out of here fast. You mustn't cry. All bad. What's all bad? Tell me. Me. I'm taboo. You marry me now, you're what? taboo. You're taboo? When I first come here, Case, he see me, and he want me to marry him. Every day, every month, he begs and begs, and I won't. And suddenly, I am taboo. Case. This is all Case is doing. That's why he wanted me to marry you, so that I... I'd lose my business. Go away. Bring you. No, no, I know you won't go away. Not unless we go away together. No. Don't you remember the man killed with a knife? I can never leave. All right. But if you must stay, then I'll stay too. Look out! Starring John Forsythe. Hmm. 
strange man, Wiltshire. I wonder why he stays around. Hmm. Must be the girl. Give me the key. Give me the key to the closet. In case my, my tongue's all swollen for a drink, give me the key. You've had your quarter. Spilled it. Tomorrow morning, and don't whimper. Day. A day and a whole night away. Yeah, you know the deal. A bottle a day and that's all. Not a drop more. A whole night. A whole night without a drink. In case you'll die. All right, you'll die. Hmm. Fine light of goods Wilshire has. If I had that, I could keep on here. Ruling over this island for the rest of my life. I wonder what's the best way to get that. You see, I... I never figured he'd really love the girl. Neither did I. Wiltshire. Catching on to things a little, are you? I don't mind. But the sooner you find out where you stand, the sooner you'll leave. You put the taboo on Anna, didn't you, Case? Did I? And the Kanakas killed Jimmy and Vigors. Are you behind that, too? Look, Wiltshire. You're whipped. We'll stop the next tramp steamer and you pack off. Don't waste your breath, man. I'm staying. Believe that? Yes. Yes, they believe. Oh, you are very kind, sir. I, I always said the case that he shouldn't treat you this way. Thank you. Thank God. Thank God. Captain, you want the whole bottle? I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm terribly sick. Well, I'm, I'm sick. sick. Tell me, where is that devil in the jungle? I don't know. Come on. Tell me where it is. You show me how it works. I'll give you two bottles, you see? Two bottles. In case it's cured, how would he ever know? We're going to see us together. 
Clyde. You go first, I'll follow. You'll give me two bottles? Twenty minutes. You watch where I go in the jungle. Twenty minutes, you follow. You won't come back. Don't worry. You think this is a trap, a trick? I don't think so. You won't come back. Oh. made a solid room, and snow-white vultures circled over them. And in the darkness under them, vampire bats streaked back and forth. A venus, Whichever way I looked, the dark wood shut up, one bow folding with another like interlocked fingers. There's Temple. Where's the captain? What if it is a trap? think it's the devil calling, but it's only the wind blowing through banjo strings stretched on a box. <laughs> then they come and the devil talks to them. He kills Jimmy and Vigor, does he? He might have. You want to see how I make the smoke come out of his eyes? Walk around behind the idol. Go ahead. If I make sure, we'll keep. people here and show them how Casey's trick works and then the taboo will be lifted. We'll be free and all the people will be friendly again. And evenings we can walk on the beach the way we used to. With the water, with the shore breeze blowing strong and smelling of wild lime and vanilla. So we come to the end of another story of suspense brought to you by Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. In just a moment, I'll tell you the title of our suspense story for next week and a little something about it. It's a most unusual one. First, I'd like to uh, make sure that you motorists get a good look at this box and what it says on it. It says, Original Autolite Service Part. Well, this is what I'm talking about, this and millions of other boxes of the same design, when I say Autolite original factory part and advise you to get them for your Autolite equipped cars. You can be sure of getting Autolite original factory parts from your nearest authorized Autolite service station, displaying this sign. You'll find the name listed in the classified section of your telephone directory under the heading Automobile Electrical Service. Or you can uh, call Western Union by number 
and ask for operator 25. You can also be sure of getting these Autolite original factory parts from the dealer who sells your make of car and at any garage or repair shop displaying this sign, wherever you get them. Just make sure that you do get Autolite original factory parts, because remember what I've told you. From bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. <laughs> The Man in the Mirror, a strange story of mistaken identity based on actual fact, a story well calculated to keep you in suspense. Primitive Lance, that we're seeing on tonight's program from the collection of the Karl Bach Gallery. Friday night, my friend Irma returns on the CBS television network.